Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Tara Arnold and today I'm going to be answering a viewer's question. It was an excellent question. It was in the comment section under one of my videos and I thought that maybe it would help somebody else out and if you have anything to add to the answer to this or any other questions about it, just put it in the comment section below. So the question is, how do I know if I'm listening to somebody if they're actually channeling the Ascended Masters? So I want to start with saying there are no spiritual gurus, like everyone has their own truth within themselves. So they already are what they're seeking. It's just that they're not aware of it yet. So when we're on our spiritual journey, we go on a path of seeking outside ourselves on this journey. And so we come across channels and look for people who are channeling, trying to figure out what our truth is. So the spiritual teacher helps the student find the truth within themselves. And once the student finds the truth within themselves, they then become the teacher. So there are no spiritual gurus because it's always our own truth. What is our own truth? This is the whole... Um, it's the whole journey of the spiritual awakening is finding one's own truth. So if you're wondering if somebody's actually channeling the Ascended Masters or another entity or another group of spirit guides, everyone channels from where they're vibrating at. So if they're vibrating in love and heart-centered consciousness, then they will channel from there. They cannot channel from anywhere that they're not vibrating at, meaning if they're in deep fear-based ego consciousness um, with judgment and um, fears and anger, then that's the channeling you're going to get. You're going to get a channeling from where they're vibrating at. If they have a superior ego, when they translate the messages, it, there will be some superiority in there. So when you listen to a channel to see where they're vibrating at and to see if it's the truth, you, you've got to check into your own truth, your own knowing. So say that you're listening to one of my channelings and I'm channeling Ascended Master Saint Germain and you say, oh, this resonates with me, then that is your truth. If it doesn't resonate with you, then it's not your truth. The Ascended Masters are always encouraging people to find their own truth. Where are you vibrating at and what resonates with you? They want you to question the channelings that I do. They want you to question um, and keep asking questions to the universe. They this, this is how you're going to find your own truth is by going in to see if it resonates with your heart. So you're learning how to, to channel from the heart instead of the head. So we're all used to channeling from the ego consciousness. Now, when I channel the Ascended Masters, I go into heart-centered consciousness and I channel from there. You might find another channel that is channeling and they're channeling from the ego, but they're saying they're channeling from heart-centered consciousness. So to know if it's true or not, you have to check in with your own in intuition because that's the only thing that's going to tell you. You need to know what's your truth within yourself so that you never have to go to another channel. You're going to eventually get to a point where all the channels that you listen to today, you're never going to listen to them again because you're going to be channeling your own truth. There's not going to be anything that you're seeking outside of yourself. That's the whole point of the spiritual journey is to get to that point. So there's some channelers that I used to listen to that it no longer resonates because I expanded my consciousness past there and I'm channeling the Ascended Masters. So when I have a question, I just channel the answer myself, where I used to seek it outside of myself. So on your spiritual path, you're gonna find that you'll, as you question and, and figure out your own truth and see what resonates with your vibration, you're not going to need to listen to any more channels. That's when you get excited because you're like, oh, my knowing is bang on. I'm going in instead of seeking validation outside of myself, instead of seeking information outside of myself. So when you reach that point, it's a celebration. Like, oh, I used to listen to Tara, but now her um, videos don't resonate with me because I've expanded my consciousness past where she's channeling at. So you're, you're going to get to a point in your spiritual awakening that the channels that you listen to 
will resonate with you for a while, but then as you expand your consciousness past where they're vibrating at, you'll, you'll find other channels that match that new vibration. And eventually you're going to get to a point where you'll listen to a channel and you're like, you know what? I don't need that anymore because I already know the answer. When you're knowing it all, like it's like the universe saying, yes, you've, you're channeling your truth. You're channeling your knowing. Or you don't have to run out and be a teacher. You don't have to run out and start channeling, but you're going to be living your life from your knowing rather than seeking the answers outside of you. So this is excellent. If you get to that point and you're, it's no longer resonating with you every time you listen to a channel, it's probably because you've expanded your consciousness past there. So just really trusting your own knowing. And that's what the Ascended Masters are always saying. They're trying to get people to go in to find their own truth. So the way that you can see if somebody's channeling the truth is, does it resonate with me? Does it align with me? And are they channeling from a fear-based energy of judgment and like um, an ego consciousness, um, fear-based energy? So anything in the ego consciousness. So are they, are they channeling with any fear? Like, um, are they making you afraid of something? Then that's not heart-centered consciousness because heart-centered consciousness doesn't have fear in it. It has love in it. Okay. And then if you're listening to somebody and there's judgment, the Ascended Masters don't have any judgment. The universe doesn't have any judgment on anything. Everything is equal. So if you're listening to a channel and you want to know, is this the truth that I'm listening to? Because you know, 10 people say they're channeling the Ascended Masters and they're all channeling something different. The answer is, is it resonating with me for my own truth? Because that's all that exists. Like I am everything. So therefore, if it's resonating with me, then I'm figuring out what my truth is because you're on your journey to find your own truth and to channel your own truth. Is it fear-based messages that the channel is channeling or is it heart-centered? Is it a vibration of divine love or is it in a vibration of fear? Does it have judgment in it or is there no judgment? So that's how you can kind of tell if someone's channeling from the heart or not. So remember to always go in on your own intuition. That's the whole point of every message from Saint Germain is for everyone to find their own truth within themselves because everything is one energy and your reality is not the same as everybody else's reality. Every time you read a book, a spiritual book, or listen to anybody who channels, just keep checking in. Does this resonate with me? Is this my truth? Because you're on your journey to find your truth and what resonates with you. And it's by finding out what doesn't resonate with you that you'll know what does resonate with you. That's how you start channeling your own truth. You're eventually going to expand your consciousness past the point of all the channels that you're listening to and you're going to begin to channel your knowing and your truth from your heart and maybe you can use that out in the community or as a teacher or simply with your presence. You can walk through a mall and that frequency is offered to everyone in the mall. You don't necessarily have to be a teacher or like run out and um, start channeling or create a YouTube channel. That's not what it's about. It's, it's about going in and expanding your own consciousness and finding your own truth. So always questioning. Question every channel you listen to and see if it resonates with you. That's excellent. When you no longer need a channel to listen to, celebrate. You've expanded to the point on your spiritual journey, on your awakening journey, where you're channeling your truth from your knowing and it's always going to be your truth from then on you won't need anything outside of yourself that's the that's the whole goal of getting to this point in your spiritual awakening is that you just you know you're knowing and it's your truth and it's nobody else's like everyone has their own reality we're all um, frequencies we're all energy and we project in front of us where we're vibrating at so 
the universe is showing us as a reflection. So if somebody's mean to me, I know that I'm still in ego consciousness. It's reflecting back to me. How has my ego been mean to my inner child today? Have I criticized myself? Thank you for showing me where I'm vibrating at. As soon as somebody says anything to me um, on planet Earth, in my reality, I say, I give gratitude in my head, like I don't say it out loud, but I give gratitude for showing me where I'm vibrating at. If somebody knocks at the door and hands me flowers, I say in my head, thank you for showing me that I've been complimenting myself and loving my inner child and channeling my truth and it's reflecting back as a gift from the universe of these beautiful flowers. If somebody knocks on my door and I open it and they criticize me for not fixing my step, then I'll say, oh, gratitude in my head. I say gratitude for showing me that I've been criticizing myself. So there's nothing outside of you. And on your journey, you're going to realize that nothing was ever outside of you. So when you're somebody saying they're channeling the ascended masters, the ascended masters are never outside of them. Like, so when I channel Saint Germain, he's not outside of me. We all have the Christ consciousness within us. So it's like, we expand our consciousness and then connect with that frequency that matches it in the universe. But it's not outside of us. It was always within us. We just weren't aware. So it's like, I chose to channel the Ascended Masters because I, I like to have friends. I like to, um, you know, have conversations with people like I naturally am social. So it's, it's like if, somebody's channeling and they are, are kind of anti-social, they're kind of introverted, they might not want to channel a group of spirit guides. They might choose just to channel the universal energy. It's still the same thing. It's a frequency of divine love. And they can say, I'm channeling the universe. Like Eckhart Tolle channels the universe. He doesn't put an identity to who he's channeling, but it's all one love conscious energy. So when I channel the Ascended Masters, I created that reality based on my belief system. So you create your spirit guides like you create your friends on planet Earth. So you choose who you want to play with. So if you want to play with spirit guides, you it's based on your belief system and where you're vibrating at. So I'm um, heart-centered consciousness was my intention. So I attracted um, heart-centered frequencies to me. I like um, the personality of Saint Germain, or, you know, I get his jokes, we have a good time laughing together. And I also was raised Catholic. So I'm already my belief system was that Jesus and Ma Mother Mary and Mary Magdalene, they're all safe energies. So based on those two things, that's how I created my spirit guides and my reality. Remember, it's your reality, not your spirit guide. So who do you want to play with and vibrate there and call them in and they'll come in. So it's, it's your reality, not your spirit guide. So if you don't want to channel like a group of spirit guides and you just want to channel the universal energies, the source energy, you just say, I'm going to channel source energy. I'm not going to put an identity to it. You're connecting with the same conscious divine love. It's just in a different form. So when people are saying, okay, I'm, I'm channeling the ascended masters, does it resonate with you? Is it heart centered? You know, is there judgment? Is there fear? So then you're going to know. And also you're drawn to the people that are channeling the ascended masters because you're also resonating with that frequency. So if you start channeling, you might want to call them in because that is what resonates with you just as it did with me. And that's what I created in my reality. If you want to channel yourself, you can choose who you would like to channel based on where you're vibrating at. If you have a heart centered intention, the spirit guides will come to you. The ones that you are having thoughts of, if they're coming, if you're coming across like books with their names in it. So before I started channeling St. Germain, I noticed that like, you know, there was more 
videos on my YouTube homepage of the Violet Flame, St. Germain. There was books I came across. Every time I went to a bookstore, there'd be like St. Germain books. Like they will start showing up because they're matching your frequency. So when you put it out to the universe that you would like to channel heart-centered consciousness and your belief system is based on um, like what you're raised with. So if you were raised in India, it might be Buddha's energy that you're calling in. I was raised in um, Canada in a Catholic church. So that's what I pulled in was Jesus and, and Mother Mary and Saint Germain. So it's always up to like, it's always up to you who you're going to channel in your reality and what your truth is. It's having fun with it and you know listening to a whole bunch of channels like don't just stick with one go find others does this resonate with me is this my truth eventually you're not gonna need to go to any channels because you're gonna be channeling your own truth and it's just enjoying and having fun on the journey of figuring out what your truth is so I just want to mention that I did post a new course called how to start a spiritual business it's um using your intuition to create a business from a fifth dimension perspective. So this course is awesome. I'm really happy with it. And if anybody out there is on their spiritual journey and they want to start a spiritual business, this um, course will help you get the confidence to do that. And also it, if you're already having a business and you're just kind of feeling stuck, get the course. It, there's so much in it that St. Germain, I consciously channel like what he says. So it, it's just like really empowering. There's a lot of self-empowerment in that how to start a spiritual business course. It's on my website. It's $33. And I will put that link in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.